So importing audio into GarageBand is as simple as going to the loops icon here, hitting the browse button, tapping on any compatible audio file, and then as soon as it pops up here, we can drag it straight over into our project and add it into our GarageBand tracks. However, what if you want to use a video file or something else from another app that's not compatible? Well, that's where our old friend, the screen recorder, comes in handy. Now this method is going to work for anything that is playing video or audio on your iPad or iPhone. But for this example, I'm going to go to my photos and choose a video here of my own just to make sure that I'm not breaching anyone else's copyright because you do have to be careful about that. I'm going to tap on this one here. This is my song called Time McFlies. Now I can obviously convert this file directly, but just to show you the example here, what I'm going to do is actually use the screen recorder here to show you how we can capture this audio. Now to access the screen recorder function, you need to swipe down from the top right corner and tap on this button here. This is our record button for our screen recorder. Now if the screen recorder is not added to your control panel here, I'm going to show you now how you can get it added in. So to do this, jump into your settings app here and go to the control center over here on the left. You'll notice that we've got all of these options here. So I'm just going to remove screen recorder for now and that's going to pop it down the bottom. So if you don't have screen recorder, all you need to do is come down the bottom to here, hit the plus button next to screen recorder, and that's going to pop it here and make it one of the options you have so that now when we swipe from the top right corner or from below in some older iOS devices, we're ready to go. And all you need to do now is tap once on that record button. It'll give you a three, two, one countdown, and then you'll be ready to go and record. So we've got our screen recording done. Now it'll pop this right into our photos, into our normal photos here in your library. So if we tap on this one here, this is what has actually been done here. So yeah, you can see there that I was screen recording and it was doing everything there. You can swipe through and you can play this just like any other video here. I had a couple of goes at just capturing the start and I've just captured a few little bits of the audio here of this song. <music> Cool, so we're good to go here now. The problem here is that GarageBand's not going to accept this video file. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to convert the video file into an audio file beforehand. And what do we do for that? Well, we use the Audio Converter app. Now, if you don't have Audio Converter, just jump over to your app store here and search File Converter. And the one that we're looking for here is this one here. It's a green logo with the white arrow there. Just tap on that one, hit the get button, and once it's downloaded, hit open. What we can now do is use this to actually convert our video file to an audio file. So let's tap on new conversion here. Now this time we want to select by tapping in the bottom right corner, hitting the plus button. We're gonna go to file. Now we need to actually go and find this file, but you might be thinking, <gasps> It's not here. Well, guess what? There is one step that we need to do before we do this, and that is to send this file into our files app so that we can bring it into Audio Converter. So what we want to do is go into our photo library here, find the video of the audio that we want to convert. Now we just want to tap and hold until we get this option here. And what we want to do is hit the share button to take us into our share sheet. Now from here, you'll see that you can send it straight to the file converter. I recommend saving it first. So I'm going to hit the save to files button here and we're just going to pop it straight in the garage band file transfer folder you can put it wherever you like but this way we'll know exactly where it is we'll hit the save button and we are done we can now return to the file converter and complete the process so back in file converter we're going to tap in the top left corner here now we know that this time it's on my ipad we're going to go to garage band for ios garage band file transfer and it's this one here with the weird name yes the rf replay whatever it is we're going to tap on that one and this is going to bring that file in here now i've already selected audio converter here because that's what we want so if that's not already selected tap on that one and i'm going to convert this into a wave file wave is the most accessible and compatible audio format so we're going to tap on wave you can go into the settings here and change these if you want to but your base default settings should work fine and then we're going to hit the start conversion button and this is going to convert that video file into a pure audio file all we need to do now is hit the share button and send it on back to our location.
So once again, we get our share sheet here. We're gonna do the same thing again and hit the save to files button. We're gonna send it back to our GarageBand file transfer folder. And now we can go back to GarageBand and import the file. So back into our GarageBand app, we're gonna hit the loops icon. You can see that we've got the little one there, meaning we've got new audio to play with. And there it is. So the original version, this MP4 video file that came from our screen recording is not going to be compatible. It's grayed out. We can't bring that in here, but we can bring in this conversion converted file. So we just tap and hold and drag it in. And there it is. There's my first attempt at playing it and my second attempt. So if we just play this now, there is the audio from that video. And from here, you can use this, you can use it in your sampler, you can use it as a backing track, whatever you're trying to do. And from whatever source that you've brought this in from, you can now go ahead and do that here in GarageBand. I hope you found this useful. There's more about GarageBand and converting files there and there as well as down in the description, and I'll see you next time.